disease. If the world is the heart, then they are the rotten blood in the vessels. And the newborns are but tumors. major cause for heart failure, cardiovascular diseases. We are the brains. We have to think before the final act. However, we can prevent this. Taxidermist? How'd you end up here? No priors either. <laughs> hey, you there. New accountant. It's Simon. Like I give a fuck. Where is he? He's busy, so... Look, why don't we just do this without him? It's not like he has to be here. We? Hmm? Oh. How fun. Now, I know you're not dumb, but uh, just remember, kid. Faith is not going to help you escape. So, be cool. There he is. You're out of my way. Hey, gay baby! What a coincidence. When was the last time we saw each other? Like 120 years? It's 40 days. Oops. My bad. Oh, hey, by the way, uh, where have you been? Investigating those special cases? Now you know that we can't start a parade without a mascot. So tell me, what did you do? What the hell? Oh. Now answer the question. <laughs> Don't tell me. I'm an angel. My name is Alan Smith. Ordinary and peaceful is what I was. I live with my wife and my daughter, Natasha. We lived on top of a mountain far away from the awful cities. Anyway, my daughter, my precious Natasha, she loved the dolls that I made for her. So I promised her that I would make her the most beautiful doll ever. The best I ever made. But I decided to keep it as a surprise. For Cut! Me. Where's your brother? Brother? Ah, oh, great. Now that makes it four people in the shed hole. Shit, what? Oh, Lucifer, shut the fuck up. And you continue. Yeah, so, my half brother. That creep. He visited us often. My daughter really likes him, and I told her to stay away from him, and she doesn't listen. I'm gonna tell you why! Here's the story. A week before my daughter's 14th birthday, that son of a bitch comes to my house and he asks me if he can take my Natasha to our... to his father's house in Scotland. He actually invited me to go along with him. Well, of course I said no, but... He said it was my wife's idea because Natasha really wants to go see Nessie and so that's what my daughter wants. And... But I thought that instead of being sad, I could use this time to carry on with my plan. What plan again? Huh? I just told you. I was going to build a doll. Anyway, my wife knew that I had a plan to surprise Natasha, and she trusts my brother, so she stayed at home. 
Unfortunately, the day after Natasha left, she came down with a bad fever and she had to stay in bed the whole time. When my brother came back from Scotland, I went to his house to pick up my daughter and he says to me, oh, where's your wife? She promised that she was gonna come and pick up Natasha. How dare he say my precious his name like that? I told him that my wife was sick. He didn't really seem to believe me and I knew right then that, that I was right. There's something wrong with him. Two days later, he visits my house again. I told him to wait in the living room. I caught that fucking thing following me to my workplace and then tried to kill me. So you got shot with a fucking gun in the face and your head splashed like jelly. Is that what I look like? No, 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 you don't look like jelly, man. I'm just kidding. You got shot in your stupid face. Bullet into your right eye. See, if you were still alive, you'd be a half blind guy now. That's enough. Now you. Get out. We both made a surprised, huh, sound. Rather harmonious one, I thought. And then he said, just go through that way, and you'll be back in the human world. I just can't believe this. Believe this. Ah, you're no fun. You know you can't just let him get away like that, right? Why not? You know, my account says that the numbers are not right. The uh, balance. But my accountant didn't say anything. Okay, so what happened to him? The previous one. Caught the. Uh, uh, oh, I was right once again, and you knew it. He was all sixes and sevens anyway. The question is, what are you gonna do now? I mean, you wouldn't like it if I reported this, right? And it wouldn't be fun that way. So. What are you waiting for? Have a seat, you fucking traitor. No surprise. So, who are you playing? The angel or the devil? I'm not looking for absolution. It's business. It's business. Cunt. Oh! Oh! What was that? Are you losing your religion? I'm not like you. So, does he, uh, say anything to you at all? I mean, after all these years, these souls... Who? He hasn't talked.
ever beautiful. You must never be apart, my precious. Did you forget something? I have a question. I am not surprised. Go on. When you were a child You'd dream all day long You'd dream of the future And get lost in your song But now that time has gone It's lost for you